All right, everybody, the teacher, episode nine. You know, I've realized that I, this whole time I've been talking, I don't even think you guys know my damn name. Hi, everybody, I'm Kiki. <laughs> All right, back to the story. Um, Mia, you won't believe this. Kelly, what's wrong? Wrong? Oh, no, no, no. This is amazing. Oh, okay. Okay, girl, what the hell you dance for? What's going on? Kelly, tell us. Oh, yeah. Sam just left a voice message on my phone. He's coming home. What? No way. My heart skipped the beat. Girl, who's Sam? And he'll be home on Saturday night. Oh, my. I can't believe it. It's, like, been, what, five years? Yes. Mia, you know what that means, right? No, I don't. Um... <laughs> I'm not a mind reader, Kelly. Ugh, I'll tell you then. We need to throw him a, a welcome home party, Mia. Oh, yes, of course we do. Who are you talking about? It's Sam, Kelly's older brother. He's a doctor and he's been working in Africa for the past five years. Yes, and now he's coming home again. He sounds like a great guy. He is. Mia always had a crush on him. I have not. Yes, you had. Don't deny it. <laughs> yes you have had <laughs> Kelly seriously I didn't have a crush on him it's weird he's like well he was kind of like a big brother to me too whatever anyways I gotta call him back are you available Saturday Mia we need to get everything ready I'll ask if Kylie uh, I'll ask Kylie if she could stay at Michelle's place I don't want to ask Daryl Cool. Let me know. I will. I'll see you too later. See you later, Kelly. That was awesome. That was um great news, definitely. So um about my homework. It's due Monday next week. Can you help me on Sunday? Sure. I'll come by your place. That'll be great. Thanks again for helping me, Mia. Um, you owe me one. What? You, oh, you owe me your soul and your firstborn? That can be arranged. Okay, girl. He said with a wink in his eye. Let's talk about the details when we get closer to Sunday, okay? Perfect. We'll see, uh, we'll see each other around. Undoubtedly. Saturday finally came and I had arranged for Kylie to stay at Michelle's place so that I could help Kelly get the house and party ready for Sam's homecoming. I went over to Kelly's place so that we could plan everything before going shopping for it. Okay, we need to figure out where to get takeout from. We need decorations, snacks, and of course, new outfits. So let me get this straight. We're not actually throwing a party. Of course we are, but the only people invited are us three. Our parents are going to be home until graduation and there's not really any other relatives we can well I don't I don't I don't know if they say care about. I don't know. So a party for the three of us it is. Oh, okay then. Where do we start? <laughs> Let's figure out where we're gonna order the food from, just so we're sure <clears throat> to get what we want in time. We have a few places in mind that I remember Sam, Sam really loved going to. After that, we can go shopping for decorations, snacks, and at last our outfits. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Dude. Okay, so Sam really liked a Luigi's Pizza Place. The Chinese wall in Tokyo takeout. So, pizza, sushi, or Chinese food, what do you think he prefers? Let's go with pizza. I think he prefer pizza. Well, the rest of that shit you was talking about. <laughs> That's what I thought, too. Okay, let's, uh, then let's go to Luigi's. Detroit. 
Hey, Detroit. Your name's Joe today. Hi, and welcome to Luigi's. Can I make a table ready for you? Actually, we would like to place an order for delivery tonight. Sure, no problem. What would you like? Why didn't you just call on the goddamn phone if you order in the damn delivery, girl? Okay, decorations. I'll go get napkins, candles, and balloons. Okay, I'll get streamers and snacks. Perfect. Okay, decorations and snacks are done. Yes, yeah, so now for the really fun part. Dressing up for the occasion. Please get me out of that fucking outfit. I don't know because that shit been stressing me out for the last. I don't know forever. And I'm glad I didn't put on that yellow shit because that shit would have really stressed me out. Okay, you try... Um, you go try on your outfits and I'll help you decide which one to buy. Cool. Thanks, Mia. What do you think? You look like a hooker. You look awesome, Kelly. Thank you. Now for the next one. What about this one? Very casually sexy. I love it. Okay, yeah, I'll go with, with her opinion on that one. Okay, the next one. You're not getting a hooker outfit, girl. I just, you just not. I'm sorry. Okay, the last one. What do you think? It's cute and hobo cheek. I love it. I'll go change back. Then you can tell me which outfit you like the most. This this last one here, girl. Because uh, that damn prostitute dress was stressing me out. I really like the third outfit. <laughs> That was my favorite one, too. Thank you for your help, Mia. Now it's your turn. Okay, let me show you the outfits. This one's pretty romantic, I think. It's super. It looks super good on you, Mia. Thank you. Next one. Let's see. Mm. A bit more casual, but it's really nice. It's casually sexy, like... The one I tried on. Oh, is it really? It is. Okay, last one. I think we're going to go with the rose, y'all. Uh, okay, I really like this outfit. It's so cool. You look amazing, Mia. Wow. I think we're going to go with this last one because only because of the blue. The blue is popping for me, y'all. The blue is really, really popping for me. Thank you, Kels. Uh, let me go change back and then you can help me decide which one. Cool. I liked the first outfit better, but then that blue is just... Okay, which outfit did you like mostly? Um, the cool one. Definitely the cool one. It looked good on you. I was hoping you say that. It was my favorite, too. Okay, let's get home and get everything ready. Okay, everything's finally ready. It had... Been a busy day, but we were so excited to see Sam again. Everything looks good. He could be here any second now. Note, if you previously made the right choice, you <laughs> have the option to come for your best friend. You did make, you made the right choice. Whatever, girl. You choose to save Kelly when you got detention. Oh, you're a great friend. Okay. Hey, are you okay? I'm just nervous, I guess. I'm scared that things have uh, changed between us. He's the only family. He's the only family member I'm close with. We, uh, we never see our parents. He's all I got. It's been five years, Mia. He hasn't even returned home for the holidays. I know it must be weird to see him again Kel but and do you remember how badly he wanted to help people yes he's always been such a great guy with a passion for helping people do you remember he almost didn't go to Africa because he didn't want to leave you behind yes I remember well you convinced him to go you told him you'd be all right <clears throat> Uh, that was gross. And he wanted to go. No, and he should go out and follow his dreams. 
now he's coming home. Maybe he'll leave again and maybe he won't. The point is, you've helped him live his dreams. And I'm so proud of you for for that, Kelly. You let him go, even though it meant not seeing him for five years. I'm sure he's very grateful for that. There's no doubt in my mind that nothing has changed. Two years were, wait, two, you two were so close. And I'm sure this brought you even closer to each other. Do you really think so, Mia? Yes. I'm sure he's the same Sam as he was before. Maybe even a better Sam. Thanks a lot, Mia. That helped a lot. I'm always here for you, Kels. Oh, shit. It's my dad. He's he's always calling when I'm busy. Um, Go outside on the t uh, terrace and answer him. Sam's always late anyways. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey, Dad, what's up? <laughs> hey, fucking Mimi Mo girl. <laughs> I just wanted to hear how things are going. I miss you. I miss you too, Dad. Things are going great. Kelly and I are actually throwing a welcome home party for Sam right now. For Sam? Wait, he's coming back from... He's back from Africa? Not yet, but he could be here any minute. We want to surprise him. Well, then, why are you still talking to your old man? Go inside. We'll talk soon. Thanks, Dad. I love you. And I love you, Mia. Have fun and say hi to Kelly and Sam for me. I will. Bye, Dad. Bye, sweetheart. Ugh, sweetheart. I could feel the nerves getting to me. I was actually nervous to see him again. I'm grown up now. I'm not a kid anymore. I was 14 years old the last time I saw, the last time he saw me. Okay, better get inside so I can be ready to surprise him. But when I got inside, well, I was the one who got surprised, clearly. Girl, these dramatic ass scenes. <laughs> They're an expensive uh, olive olive couch in his scrub, smiling at me. He got in while I was talking to my dad. I should have been I should I should have been bummed by the fact that I didn't get the surprise sound. But all I could think about was how good he looked sitting there with his telescope, his stethoscope around his neck. He always <clears throat> had the kindest face, the nicest smile, and such deep green eyes that could make him most jealous. His hair was brown, not red like Kelly's. His skin was glowing in his hair, and his dimples, I think, I don't know. His dimples had always intrigued me. He was naturally, he was so naturally beautiful. His teeth were perfectly straight and white. <laughs> that he could pass for a fucking dentist, y'all. He's a hunk, not a damn hunk, child. His arms were big and strong and toned. He looked like a guy who really likes to care for himself. He's a doctor, so I'm sure it's normal, but <clears throat> he's definitely gotten a little bit more. Uh, he's definitely got a lot more buff since the last I saw. Well, well since I last saw him five years ago. He's smiling at me. He's looking at me from top to bottom with a glimmer in his eyes. And I could feel my cheeks acting up once again. And I noticed him checking me out. I wasn't sure how I was going to handle the situation. All right. All right, girl. Shit, shit. Are all, these, are all three of these guys love interests? Because I don't I don't got the time, child, to be picking between no damn teacher, doctor, and fucking... Miguel, child. Who the, hell, who the hell got time for that? Oh, MJ. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it is like 7 in the morning, y'all. So I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Until next time.